All right, everyone, I am back, and we are one day out from the competition. I'm currently on my way to the, um, to the venue right now. Um, I was planning on starting this video earlier while I was still at the house, but it was a bit rushed this morning, especially since there was a, um, since we have a four hour drive to get to the venue, or between four and six, depending on traffic. So, um, a little bit of overview of what was going on this week. So I did a carb depletion. I, um, so I eat about 15 1700 calories Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday up to calories to about 2000. And yesterday I cut them back down to 1700. Um, I was using some artificial sweetener that I did not realize had dextrous in it. And if any of you guys know, dextrose does contain calories. So I put myself in a little more of a deficit yesterday to actually get rid of some extra glycogen. So it was really only one solid day of a carb depletion. I'm not sure how that's going to affect my carb up, but I'm just going to go with it and see what happens. I mean, it's my first show, regional show, and um, hopefully everything turns out great. So I'm definitely not coming in as lean as what I'd like to be, but... Like I said, it's, it's a regional show. It's my first show. Give me some good experience. And I have two more shows coming up here in five weeks and then six weeks. So, um, for my meals for the carb up, I haven't started my carb up yet. I started off this morning with two servings of chicken. Um, so 226 grams of raw chicken. Um, I think it's like 160 some grams of cooked or 180 grams cooked and then we're on to the second meal right now which it's about 11 o'clock <clears throat> now this um this carb up process it is um greg doucette's carb up i'll tag his channel down below who knows maybe he'll do a review or something of it but um for the second meal we having it is half a can of sodium free peas or no salt added peas, however they label it. Four cups of rice and 50 grams of chicken. And um, I drank half a gallon of water within the first 90 minutes of waking up this morning. And then that's it for water until about 8 o'clock tonight, I believe. So um, I'm going to go ahead and get eating this. It's been about three and a half hours since I've eaten the chicken and I am starving. So, I'll catch you guys at the next meal. Alright guys, we are currently about two and a half hours into our drive. We're about halfway to the venue. And um, it is time for my third meal. And this is actually where some of the fun starts kicking in. So, I got... Let me up here. Again, half a can of the sodium-free peas or reduced salt peas. And three cups of rice and half a serving of chicken again. So um, this comes out to 800 calories, only about 30 grams of protein, and 165 grams of carbs. The last one was actually 871 calories, 177.5 grams of carbs, I believe, and 30 couple grams of protein. So real low protein, real high carbs, but we don't want any protein that's going to slow down the digestion today and keep everything moving um, and be able to get a good pump for the competition tomorrow. So um, after this meal, as I get hungry, in between these meals now, I have a box of Reese Puffs and a box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. Both have um, about 320 grams per box. So I'll just get the munch on those throughout the day. Like I said, it should, both of those boxes should last me the rest of the day, along with the other meals that I'll be eating. I'm eating roughly about every two hours. So I am starving right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and get this in my stomach and um, I'll let you know how I feel at the next meal. All right, it's not quite the next video or the next meal yet, but um, I'm just now getting ready to crack into the first box of cereal, Cinnamon Toast Crunch. 
I figured these would be probably the hardest to get down without drinking anything, so I'm going to do them first. Um, yeah, as far as like the rice meals go, it's to the point now like the peas taste almost like candy, and um, the rice there's literally no seasoning on it. There's no salt. There's no pepper. I'm trying to complete sodium up until this point now with the cereal, and. Um, yeah, I mean, it's getting harder to get the food down without water, definitely. Um, it's not terrible as far as, like, dehydration goes, but it's definitely starting to get worse. I'm starting to feel the, um, the impacts of it slowly. But I'm enjoying the, um, the drier look that's starting to come in already that I can see the physical changes. So, I'm weighing in at 236.2 right now, so... My last race meal will postpone like an extra hour. That way I make sure that I make the weights at four o'clock and then I can eat whatever after that point. Um, within reason, I don't want to get spill over too much or anything. So I'm gonna start digging into the Cinnamon Toast Crunch and I will see you guys here in a bit. All right guys, so I have finally made it to Philadelphia. We did the weigh-ins and I actually hide it in at a little over six foot three, so my worries about the um, making the weight cap actually wasn't that big of a deal because now my weight cap is 245. Still weighed in under at 234.8, fully dressed with my jeans and everything on, so probably close to about the 230 mark. So, a um, little behind on meals. I did finish off that box of Cinnamon Toast Crunch. And towards the end, I was definitely um, trying to work up every last bit of saliva that I had to uh, wash it all down. So this um, this next meal is two cups of rice and then 50 grams of chicken or half a serving of chicken. And then I have seven chocolate rice cakes to get with that. Um, the rice cakes, I think, are going to be a nightmare. Um, the rice because there is at least a little bit of liquid in the rice isn't going to be that bad. And so I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. By the time I get that finished up, they should have the spray tanning booth set up. So I'll be able to go and get my spray tan and then go on to the next meal. The amount of liquid deprivation I am under right now is astronomical. So um, I didn't get to record the last video. I would have my girlfriend run out to the car quick to grab a bag of mini rice cakes um, I got the buttermilk ranch I switched it up a little bit from the original plan just because I couldn't find the name brand that they wanted and the buttermilk was the same calories just a little bit higher sodium so went with those and those like every last bit of water that my mouth had it, they evaporated from all the sodium so, um, yeah, right now we are headed to Arby's. I'm going to be getting two plates of fries. And um, I actually get to drink two cans of a Diet Pop. So, I am looking forward to that. Right now, I am munching on the second box of cereal Reese Puffs. Got about almost half of it down already, actually. So... Uh, we're closing on the end of the end of the night. It is 7:30 right now. Should be getting to the restaurant about 8 o'clock. So usually I'm in bed by like 9, 10 o'clock. So I might be up a little bit later than that, but not much later. So I got to be getting in the rest of my meals relatively quickly. Between the two fries, I have two other pretty small meals that just involve like some candy bars and whatnot. So. Um, I'll update you guys on how I feel after the um, after I get a little bit more water or liquids into my system. Um, stay tuned for that. Now, uh, this is what I call a meal. So, um, here we have about 2,000 calories in fries, and um, the condiments are going to have quickly. So, um, we still have lots of ketchup, so I'm going to get to smothering these things and. Um, yeah, I'm not going to waste any time talking to you guys because I'm ready to dig in. 
All right, good morning, everybody. So I do apologize. Last night was getting extremely late and um, I finished off the fries, which actually was a lot of food. Like it actually filled me up completely for the first time yesterday. And um, on the way back to um, the place we were staying at, uh, I finished off the Reese Puffs we got here then um i had one more meal and i had two kit kat bars and a half a serving of chicken so that was the rest of the day i woke up once in the middle of the night had two more kit kat bars um just to make sure i'm staying fueled up but that was about it like i said i do apologize about not fishing video um i had two 12 ounce cans of soda with those fries and I'm telling you it felt great drinking them but like within 15 minutes after I finished up everything like I was even more thirsty after drinking than what it was before I even started so it seems like a little bit of self-inflicted misery so um I weighed in yesterday at 2.37 at night so I did dehydrate I'd actually lost weight with eating all that food it's crazy um the amount of weight that you hold with water because normally i gain about like between five and ten pounds throughout the day from morning till night just from like all the liquids that i consume normally so when you cut water out i mean you can really cut a lot of weight really quickly but i'm going to go ahead and end the video here and um this will also sort of be the start of today's video uh competition day we're gonna see hopefully how we do um i guess i'm not quite ending the video now but uh the from what i saw it looks like i might have some pretty good competition um the one guy i'm really hoping he's not in classic physique because if he makes a weight cap and does classic he is going to freaking annihilate everybody in there. But I, he's only, I think he said 5'7", so I'm pretty sure he's in open bodybuilding. He's a pretty stout, or may not open, but definitely heavyweight. He's a pretty stout guy. But other than that, it looks like everything is pretty, pretty even playing field. And we're definitely going to have some people that's going to challenge me, especially with this being my first show, my posing, my nerves a little bit. I mean, I don't feel like I'm too nervous now, but that can always change five minutes before you step on the stage. I mean, I can step on stage and start missing poses or whatever, but I'm just here to enjoy it really. I mean, I have this show and then I have another show in five weeks and one more show um, the week after that. So, I mean, I have a few shows coming up here that I'm excited for and are all in preparation for the last show, which is going to be the big one. So, um, I'll keep you guys up to date with the upcoming shows and um, my progress on that. I will definitely be leaning out a lot more than I am now. I mean, I have striations, terrible lighting, but I have striations all the way across my chest, up through my shoulders, through my arms. My abs have some striations start coming through in some veins. I mean, I'm not peeled to the bone, but I'm definitely shredded. So we'll see what kind of condition everyone else brings as well. Because that's one thing I wasn't able to see. I was just able to see the size that they look like in their um, sweaters and jackets at the tanning. So, all right. So um, with that, I'll end the video here. I'm going to try to get edited quick before I actually get into the competition on the way to the, um, oh, on the way to the venue, get this video uploaded and then that way we can um, upload the competition video tonight. So um, until the next video, I will catch you guys later.